<gasps> oh my God, I cannot even tell you the level of stress I am under right now, which is actually hilarious because this whole video was about that. So this is for the ACTA2 people. I just wanted to give you guys kind of, you know, a special little heads up just based on our own genetic defect and give you some tips. Now, a lot of you may be, have been pretty alarmed just knowing my general surgical history. Is this a normal thing? No, I am the exception, not the rule. I have lived an incredibly stressful life, probably more stressful than most of you just based on my own experiences. I actually uh, think stress is one of the biggest predicators to the aortic aneurysms that you may experience. I can tie almost all of them to some event that preceded the dissection by uh, three to six to nine months to a year even. Now about a year before my first two dissections, I moved out of my house. I was a senior in high school, had a fallout with my parents. I left, I never lived with them again full time, I just left. I got an apartment, they were $400 a month at that time. I had two friends and it was the town or the city next over from the town that I lived in and that's what we did. <laughs> Stress is something that you really need to support your own children through as well as yourself. You need to be kind to yourself. You need to relax, you need to breathe, you need to try more meditation. You need to not let yourself get so infuriated and worked up and it's actually funny my husband just took my dog away a few minutes ago because the stupid dog was barking while i was trying to record this and i lost my mind you know just to kind of go along with the theme heavy lifting you must avoid heavy lifting anything heavy that you are lifting is straining your vasculature we have very weak vasculature I cannot do it I have moved dozens of times. I have moved heavy stuff. I've moved bare. I've done stupid shit. And you really need to be careful of that. Contact sports. You must be careful of contact sports. You must avoid them at all costs just because, you know, obviously the hard jarring in the body could cause spontaneous dissection. You don't need that. You need to be careful of yoga as well. You know, I was in yoga teacher training when I had that stroke in 2015 because I really wanted to help people. But at the same time, the stretching, our arteries are incredibly weak and they don't have the ability to bounce back. They don't have that elastic to really, you know, bounce back as a normal person's would. They are more prone to tearing that way. No chiropractic adjustments. I am talking about anything near your neck or any vasculature. You know, we've all seen the stories of the people that have had the, um, adjustments and had strokes that's probably something that would happen to us and i've never had anyone do it simply for the fact that i've had strokes already i actually worked for a chiropractor at 15 and we always talked about me getting adjustments but i never did it and now thank god that i did and that was something that just happened and worked out in my favor massages no hard massages you're going to be want to be very careful about that and actually, the funny thing is, about a week before I found out, you know, through these tests that I had some larger problems, I was using a very heavy, like, burr, burr, massager on my left shoulder, and with a 10 centimeter pseudoaneurysm in there, probably didn't do it any favors of vibrating the crap out of it. It did give me some initial relief, but obviously, not smart to do, and you really need to be careful about it as well. You need to be extremely gentle with your body and your vasculature. Again, this is just based on my own experiences. Now, in terms of pregnancy, of course, with a connective tissue disorder, you must speak with your doctor. Now, for me, obviously, we know that pregnancy I spoke with, I spoke about, did not end up working out. And I'm actually kind of glad because I don't know that I could willingly, you know, subject another human being to going through all of these possible scenarios that I've gone through. These are just my tips. I will speak more to them later, but I do hope they help and I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.